is up guys welcome back to the channel back with another unboxing video for you guys from the Kino Lorber March Madness sale uh, place this order on the 11th and it's here today on what is today the 20th so pretty quick shipping from Kino uh, especially with the way things are right now so uh, pretty pleased with that I think I got about 15 titles or so I uh, didn't go too extreme but it's been a long time since I placed an order from Kino so I wanted to grab a few on this sale and kind of stock up on their titles. Uh, yeah, a really good sale. And they still have some stuff going uh, out of print uh, that you can get pretty cheap too, which I'll probably go over at the end of this video, uh, bring up the website and everything like that. Um, I'll go through first and show you guys everything, and then we'll get everything opened up, see if there's any. Sometimes there's reverse art on a few of their titles, sometimes not, but we'll go over whatever features they have and uh, things like that afterwards, and also a package in from Cavity Colors. Um, this I've had this for about a week, actually. I was just waiting to throw it in with something else, and I uh, figured this is the perfect time to do so. Uh, this is a brand new design that they had uh, released from one of my favorite movies. Uh, so, yeah, pretty excited for this. And I did recently place an order from uh, Fright Rags as well and got a uh, a reprint of one of their previous designs. It's on its way to me now. So, uh, very excited for that. I've been buying more of these shirts. Um, kind of taking a break from buying so many movies, uh, myself anyways. Um, I do have a huge, uh, update coming, um, from some stuff that was sent to me and things like that. But as far as, uh, buying things myself for movies, I've been kind of cutting back quite a bit and, uh, just buy buying some, uh, shirts and stuff here and there. But uh, we'll open that first. Before we do, if you guys would, drop down that description box as usual. Uh, check out the social media links, the merch store. Uh, there was something I was going to say with that too. Oh, uh, along with that, this uh, Kino sell order is uh, thanks to you guys, by the way. I've been saving all of my merchandise uh, earnings from the merch store. And uh, this was paid for by those sales. So thank you to everyone who has ordered uh, shirts, mugs, things like that off of the Teespring store. Uh, really, really appreciate that, guys. Uh, you guys are fucking awesome. And, um, you know, the Patreon link's there, too, as well. If you guys want to join that, get your name in the credits. You get 15% off on the merch store and uh, extra entries into contest drawings, things like that. It's 3 bucks a month. Uh, yeah, Amazon wish list is always there. Again, I don't necessarily need anything, but uh, if you guys are feeling like sending something, by all means, it is there. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's open this up and see what we got. I went with the two X size again from them, even though the, the American psycho one I got in a two X is a little big, but yet the return of living dead three one I got in an extra large is a little small. So like I can't win. So we'll see. Oh, I did order something else with this as well. Before I show the shirt, I did get this awesome pen of Bub from Day of the Dead. Uh, so you guys already know what the shirt's going to be related to. Again, my favorite um, zombie film, my favorite Romero film. Um, I believe it's his favorite of the trilogy as well. Uh, got, got some good weight to it. I, I'm not big on the pens, but it's Day of the Dead. It's Bub. I had to grab it. And the shirt design that they have now... This one looks a little bit smaller than the American Psycho one, so that's that's good, I guess. But see, I, I just I don't know what size to ever order. All right, so here we go. This awesome Day of the Dead shirt, very very cool. Um, I'm probably not going to order too many more shirts because they're like thirty two, thirty three dollars with shipping, uh, unless it's a movie that I really really love. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of high, but uh, and we got our bookmark fell out of the shirt. What do we got this time? Here we go. I don't have this one yet. The werewolf here. Not sure what movie it's from. There's so many different werewolf movies. Um, if you guys know, let me know because this is, it's not coming to me for some reason. Um, but cool, cool. Add that to the bookmark collection. Again, they send you bookmarks. Uh, Fright Reg sends you a, a trading card and a um, like an airhead candy. I personally would rather have the uh, bookmark myself. But uh, Fright Rags, I will say, is a little bit better quality. The colors pop a little bit more, um, which you guys have seen on the They Live shirt that I got from them. 
and um, you'll see again on the one that I ordered, I uh, had a sticker fall out too, got another Cavity Color sticker, uh, which I already have one put up on my shelf behind me, I sticker this one side uh, with all those, and I already have one on there. So let's jump into, I have the uh, prices up on my phone, that's why I'm not recording from my phone, uh, and it's faster to upload from here. So, all right. Got this nice box from Kino. I did mark out my address and shit, but uh, doesn't feel like there's much packaging. They're moving around. I don't know if any of these had slips or not, so not a huge deal. We'll find out together. Uh, I was going to say I don't remember what I ordered, but they're all right here in front of me on my phone. So, all right, let's dive into this. Again, I'll just show the movies real quick. Uh, no, we got to slip with one of them. Oh, almost dropped the whole box. All right. Let's pull out a few here. Uh, the one that had the slip here, still coming with it. We have Deep Rising. I didn't remember much about this movie. I did rewatch the trailer, and that's what I do with most of these Kino titles. I know I've said this before, but it's been a while. A lot of them I haven't heard of, so I'll watch the trailers on them if I like the cast and it sounds interesting. And then I'll go from there. Uh, so Deep Rising was uh, $9.99 on the sale. So good price for that. And uh, really looking forward to checking this out. I know I've seen it a long time ago. It's this very big. Treat Williams. Uh, Fameek Jensen, I guess is how you say her name. I know her from a lot of other things. But uh, I believe there's other people in here as well. Uh, none of the names are. Uh, that Digimon Hansu. Um I know him from a lot of things, too. I know I just completely screwed up his name. But, uh, again, we'll go over the features and stuff here in a minute. I did pick up some Code Red uh, Scorpion-type titles since Kino distributes for them, and these were on sale. Uh, we have the Devil Times 5, or just Devil Times 5, I guess. I believe this is a reissue of this. Uh, this was... Uh, <laughs> let me try to find him here. Uh, how much was this? Come on. Uh, $12.99. This was the only one that was that high. Um, I think it's like 20 bucks or more if you order from like Ronin Flicks or something like that. So I'm uh, very happy to have that. This is a Code Red release. Uh, one, a Bruce Willis movie that I wasn't too familiar with. I watched the trailer and it looks absolutely awesome. So uh, I don't think the name of the movie and the picture on here does it justice for a Bruce Willis film. Is like a lot of action and stuff by the trailer as well. Um, and that is Color of Night. This is a uh, 1994 film. Uh, I believe, who was the chick that was in here with him? Uh, I guess I don't recognize her name. Uh, but you got uh, Brad Dourif in here as well. Of course, the voice of Chucky and Lance uh, Henriksen from Pumpkinhead and stuff. So, And that was uh, $9.99. So th this is a kind of recent title uh, from them. And one I've won wanted to get since they put it out. That is Spedders. Uh, you do have uh, Rucker Hauer in here as well. So that definitely sold me on it. This was $9.99. We got Firebirds with uh, Nicolas Cage, Tommy Lee Jones, and Sean Young. Uh, I mean, great cast. I don't think I've seen this. This was $7.99. So great, great price on that. Uh, this is one I threw in at the last minute after I saw some other people picking it up. And um, the trailer looked really funny. Definitely looked right at my alley for a 80s uh, comedy, like... Uh, raunchy comedy uh that is delivery boys i don't think there was anybody really in here that i recognize name wise you have mario van peebles in here uh, this is a 1985 film and that was uh 7.99 so great price on that this was the first one in my cart because this cover just really sold me i tried to watch a trailer on youtube and i wasn't really finding much of a trailer it was like a minute little teaser uh but it looked interesting enough and that is Baby Blood. A Horror Hound's uh, Delight, says Fangoria. I don't think... I believe this is a foreign film, so... Um, I, I forget from what country. Uh, Italian film or something like that. Uh, from 1990. And this was uh, $9.99. Alright, moving on. Grab another little stack here. Alright, got my man Rucker Hauer again. And Wanted Dead or Alive. Trailer looked awesome. It's Rucker Hauer. Love Rucker Hauer. Um, another one of my favorite actors. Uh, it's from 1986. 
This was uh, 999. I'd been on my wish list on Amazon for a while. Uh, so figured 999, go ahead and pick it up. This one here, I've seen a long time ago, like shortly after it came out. That is uh, David Lynch's Lost Highway. But back when I saw this, I was like a teenager, like early teens, and I, I didn't really understand film at that time. Um, like your more complex shit. So definitely want to give this a rewatch. Um, you got Bill Pullman in here, Patricia Arquette, and uh, a few other people in here. Uh, Gary Busey. Uh, this is a 1997 film. And this was, where are we at? $9.99 on this. All right, this is another one that I, I watched the trailer. Great cast. That is called Trouble Bound. Uh, I'm trying to see what time it is. I have a pizza coming, so we're going to have to cut at some point and start back up. Uh, this is a Code Red release. This is what drew me to it as well. And it was like, I think this one was pretty cheap. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Trouble Bound, Trouble Bound. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on. Uh, you're going to give me problems. Uh, seven ninety nine, dollars and it's a Code Red release, so, um, uh, Michael Madsen, Patricia Arquette, uh, and Billy Bob Thornton, this is a 19, I don't know the year, doesn't seem to want to say it, or something in 90 minutes, where's the freaking year? Anyways, sounds interesting. Uh, one I've been wanting to pick up for a while, I believe this is a S Scorpion release. Um, no? doesn't say Scorpion on it. Uh, yeah, Scorpion releasing um, in association with Kino. Monster Dog with uh, Alice Cooper. I mean, it's a movie called Monster Dog and it's got Alice Cooper. I've not seen it. I've heard uh, kind of mixed things on it. This was uh, $9.99. Uh, this one, I mean, the cover looks awesome. And I read the synopsis. I don't think I watched the trailer on it. But um, this is a Code Red release. It says, Love Me Deadly. Uh, this was, ah, man, I'm just having a hard time finding them here. Uh, 11.99, so a little bit higher on that one. So my two highest pickups were 11.99 and one for 12.99. Uh, this says uncut. I don't know if this is the first time it's uncut. Um, I've not seen the movie at all. So, all right, last little, we got three left. Yep. Three more. Uh, this is one I had in my cart and I took out, then I ended up taking something else out and threw this back in here. I can't remember if I've seen this or not. It seems like something I would have seen back in the day from Blockbuster or something uh, because I was a big uh, Val Kilmer fan. And you got Ken Basing in here as well. And that is The Real McCoy. Uh, this was uh, $9.99, 1993 film. Um, yeah, uh, Terrence Stamp in here as well. Uh, sounds pretty interesting. All right, uh, had to get some more um, kind of older uh, Dolph Lundgren, not real old, but uh, 1998 film, uh, The Minion. I've not seen this one, and I'm a huge uh, Dolph Lundgren fan as well. Dolph Lundgren and uh, Jean-Claude, my, my two favorites uh, from back in the day, along with Stallone. Arnold's after them, guys, sorry, but uh, he just is, even though most of his movies are better. Um, but yeah, Dolph Lundgren and The Minion. This was uh, 649. 649. I could not pass that up. Um, I don't know much about it. And lastly, now I, I know this one is is a terrible, terrible movie, and it's more of a crocodile than an alligator. I've seen most of this movie, like bits and pieces here and there, uh, but that is the Great Alligator. Um, this was uh, this was pretty cheap as well, I do believe. Uh, well, this is twelve ninety nine as well, but this is a Code Red release, so it's better than paying twenty something bucks. Uh, Again, I can't find the year on here, but uh, it's not a good movie by any means, um, but I had to have it. Um, again, it's a crocodile, not a uh, alligator, but um, whatever. Uh, so really, really happy with this haul. Hopefully you guys stick around for the rest of the video. I'll go through the features. I'll get these all opened up for you guys first as I cut away. My food should be here any minute, and then we'll come back and uh, see if there's any inside art and things like that. Like I said, go over the features and everything. And the sale is still going on. We'll browse through it real quick. I'm not going to do like I did on my last video and go through every title because there's just way too many. Uh, but we'll, I'll point out some ones that I've heard of or have or things like that. 
And if you guys want to stick around for that, if not, thanks for watching. If you guys are continuing on with me, you guys fucking rock. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get out of here, go uh, wait on my food, and uh, come back to you guys. All right, we're back. Got everything opened up and everything. Now that I've eaten and I'm falling asleep, I'm tired as fuck now. But we're going to go through these uh, starting back at the beginning again. I haven't actually opened them up myself. I just took the shrink wrap off of them. So we're going to find out together if there's anything on the insides and uh, go over the features, all that good stuff. So we'll start with Deep Rising. So let's see what we got inside. We do have uh, some reverse art here. So that's cool. All right. Nice. Get that switched around. Since we got the slip on there, might as well, all right. So there is your alternate artwork. Full scream ahead. All right, so on here you have an audio commentary by the director and editor. Interviews with Wes Studi, Kevin O'Connor, and Anthony Held. Interview with uh, second unit director. Interview with visual effects. Interview with visual uh, two different visual effects interviews. Uh, interview with Brad Practor, special uh, makeup effects. Interview with Doug Morrow, special makeup effects. Interview with DP Howard Atherton. ILM behind the scenes extras, uh, anim animatic sequence, creatures, tests, etc. Newly commissioned art by Jacob Phillips. Animated image gallery, 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo. So quite a few features on this release as well. Again, from 1998, runs 106 minutes. It's in the 235 aspect ratio. I believe all these are region A locked, um, if I'm not mistaken. If there's something different, I'll let you know. They all say A with the circle around them, so I'm assuming that means region A locked. Uh, but very happy this came with a slip uh, once again. So looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, Devil times five. Let's see what we got inside. Not, nothing on the inside. Plain Jane. Um, and I am changing all my code red cases over to clear ones as soon as uh, my order from Casetopia ships. I actually messaged them on Twitter today after I was uh, kind of uh, told to do that. And they'll respond quick on a Facebook group. And they responded back right away and said my order is now shipping. So I placed it on February 13th. Emailed them a week ago. Never heard anything back. Emailed them again today saying, hey, what the hell's going on? Uh, and then finally tweeted them and now it's on its way so yeah uh cheap cases but man the customer service is garbage anyways uh devil times five aka horrible house on the hill uh features include new 2k scan audio commentary from actors uh moderated by darren gross feature it with actors and uh producer original trailer i'm not gonna say all the names that are listed on here because you guys know i can't pronounce it uh, 178 aspect ratio. Uh, again, I don't know what year this was. Oh, 1974. Uh, this is a region-free release from Code Red. All right. Uh, Color of Night. Uh, you get a 122-minute theatrical cut and a 140-minute director's cut. So I'll definitely be watching the director's cut. Audio commentary by director... Uh, Richard Rush on the director's cut. Audio commentary by screenwriter Matthew Chapman on, th on theatrical cut. 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo. KLSC trailers. Uh, 1994. I'm assuming that's Kino Larber Studios or something. Uh, 122 minutes, 140 minutes, of course, like I already said. 235 aspect ratio. Nothing on the inside except for your two discs. They are on separate discs for the theatrical and director's cut. Move on to spetters. Uh, nothing on the inside of this one. Most of the regular Kino ones there isn't. Uh, I've had a few of them that do have some uh, alternate artwork or images. Uh, features on here, you just get an audio commentary by a director, Paul Verhoeven. Oh, that was the other thing that drew me to this, too. Um, I believe he did, um, yeah, RoboCop and things like that. Uh, 166 aspect ratio, 123 minutes, 1980 from the Netherlands. Uh, cool. And Dutch with optional English subtitles, so it's not an English-spoken film. Awesome. 
I already opened it up, right? Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing going on on the inside of that. Uh, Firebirds. <clears throat> Again, 1990, 86 minutes, pretty short one. 185 aspect ratio. You get an audio commentary by director David Green, 5.1 surround and 2.0. And uh, original theatrical trailers. Nothing on the inside of this but a broken case. So, cool. Um, not really sure where that fell out of. I don't see. Anyways. <laughs> Seems to still be okay. That's weird. Is that, is that just leftover casing? <laughs> I really don't see anything wrong with the case. That's very strange. Huh. Interesting. I mean, if it is, then no big deal. I have extra cases, regular, regular Blu-ray cases anyways. Um, yeah, not, not really sure where that came from. Huh. Interesting. I got a couple, couple pieces there. <laughs> Crazy, crazy shit, man. All right, uh, Delivery Boys. It's an American tradition gone absolutely wild. Uh, nothing on the inside of this. You do get some discard on this one, which is pretty rare for uh, the Kino releases. This is a, oh, it's a Scorpion release, that's why. Okay. I don't think I noticed that earlier, or did I? I don't know. But no uh, inside art Dis discard. Which is a nice touch. 92 minutes, 1985, and the 178 aspect ratio. Uh, all you get on here is a new interview with cinematographer Larry Ravine and trailers. But, uh, still cool. Uh, Baby Blood. Nothing on the inside of this one. Standard Kino disc. Uh, features include audio commentary by film historian Lee Gambin and film critic Jarrett uh, Gahan, Gahan? I don't know. Uh, original, uh, or sorry, includes uh, both original and English uh, audio. Theatrical trailer, 1990, 87 minutes. Uh, yeah, this is uh, in a collaboration with Studio Canal on this as well. Uh, One at Dead or Alive. Rick Randall is a loner, a legend, a bounty hunter. Uh, nothing on this one either. Here's some other says, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> in association with the uh, RLJE films, too. So that's kind of different for their releases. My OCD is bugging the hell out of me right now with this insert. Uh, try not to take too much time. Anyways. Uh, 1986, 106 minutes, uh, 178 aspect ratio. So this is a 2002 film? Seems like it's, or no, it says 2002. I guess that's when uh, RLJE put it out. Uh, 80, 1986 film. So say he looks awful young for 2002. <sighs> Get with it. All right, uh, Lost Highway. 134 minutes. Yeah, I remember this being a long movie. Uh, 1997. Uh, this is put out by Universal. Focus features. Nothing on the inside of that one. Standard Kino disc. Features include nothing. They don't have anything listed, so nothing at all on the back of that. All right, Trouble Bound. It's weird, I don't think I saw Billy. Yeah, they don't have Billy Bob's name on the back um, of the credits. So, kind of weird, but he's on the front of the credits. A woman like uh, Kit comes around once in a lifetime. That's enough. All right, we got some uh, reverse art here. I think I'll keep it the way that it is, though. There you go. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like them both about the same. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep it that way. Uh, this is a region-free release from Code Red. Uh, 178 aspect ratio, 90 minutes. Uh, 1992 is when this came out. This is in association with ITV Studios. I believe it says it on the spine as well. Uh, features include brand new 2016 HD Master, on-camera interview with uh, writer Francis Delia, Original trailer and the reverse art. I don't think the transfer is like a special feature. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, Monster Dog with Alice Cooper. The fear, the terror, the nightmare. They will never forget it. In the tagline. Uh, you do have some reverse art here. Uh, I think I'll keep it the way that it is, but still pretty cool. I like that a little bit better. You got more going on on it. Uh, features include Lord of the Dogs, a featurette with interviews from Claudio Fergasso, Rosella Drudy, and Roberto Bessi, and more. Uh, again, this is a Scorpion uh, releasing title. Uh, looks like 20th Century Fox and MGM are uh, incorporated as well. From 1985, runs 84 minutes. This is in the 185 aspect ratio. Love me deadly. Right, we got some uh, inside art going on on here. Ooh, I like both of them. Ah, I don't know. Genuinely, deeply shocking, says Scream Magazine. A hunger from beyond the grave is your tagline. I don't know which one I like better here. Let's, let's flip it around for now. Got kind of a, a black and white cover on the other side here. Again, this is a Code Red release as well, which most of theirs have reverse art for the, for the most part. Almost always, usually. Um, yeah. Put that back in there. Come on. Uh, there's your reverse art, which is pretty cool. Daddy is a naked corpse on a slab. Okay. This is this is the strangest, most unnatural union ever uh, consummated between the living and the dead. Lindsay is 18. She visits her daddy every night. Beware of this film in which supernatural suspense and terror go hand in icy hand is not recommended for emotionally immature. Sounds like a pretty crazy, fucked up movie. Um, <laughs> uh, 178 aspect ratio. This is from 1972. Runs 94 minutes. Region free release. Uh, brand new 2K scan of the uh, uncut version. From the uh, 35 millimeter negatives, unlike the other label who has one from the 35 millimeter edited print. I don't know what label they're calling out. So, uh, this code red version is authorized by the rights owner. Audio commentary producer Buck Edwards. Play this in Maria's B movie Mayhem mode, original trailer, and reverse art. So, it sounds like there's some uh, controversy between um, Code Red and another label on this release uh, being like an uncut version. I don't know. If you guys know what the beef uh, there is, let me know, because I'm curious. All right. Uh, the Real McCoy. Kilmer, Basinger. Nothing going on on the inside. Standard Kino disc. I've seen a couple of their regular releases with uh, reverse art and everything. It's like really stuck to the case here. Wow. Again, OCD was really bugging me. Try to straighten this up a little bit. But... Uh, all right, uh, this is put out by Universal in 1993, runs 105 minutes, 185 aspect ratio on this. You get an audio commentary by the director and a theatrical trailer as your only features. Two left. Uh, the Minion, Dolph Lundgren. Same thing here, nothing special. Uh, features include audio commentary by the director, theatrical trailer, 1998, 95 minutes, 185 aspect ratio, uh, region A, and all these inserts are just, and, and they're all like really kind of stuck to the, uh, not complaining though, not at one bit. Everything arrived in good shape, which is awesome considering there wasn't any packing I don't, I don't remember if kino ever does any kind of packing uh, materials but uh i think i've only ordered from them two other times and lastly great alligator from sergio martino uh actually nothing on the inside of this which is kind of surprising being code red uh, you do have your disc art 
Uh, features include 2016 HD Master with extensive color correction done in the U.S. Interview with underwater camera operator. I can't even pronounce that name at all. Roundtable discussion uh, with special effects. Uh, Paolo, Paolo Ricci, cinematographer and art director. Interview with camera operator in the crocodile's nest. An interview with uh, director Sergio Martino and art director Massimo Antonello. <laughs> Again, I wasn't going to try to pronounce all these names. Uh, 1976, maybe? Anamorphic widescreen, 235 aspect ratio, 90 minutes. Cool, cool. Great alligator. I was going to completely butcher those names for sure. There's no doubt about that. All right, so uh, just to inform you guys that may not know, this is a sale that has been going on for a long time. I don't remember when this started. This was the last time I actually ordered from Kino when this Wild Supplies last sale started. Uh, so this is still on there. I don't know how many copies of these movies they had left, but apparently a lot. I don't think they're going to uh, finagle the prices any. I think they're going to keep them what they're at until they just sell out. Seems like they should lower them every few months or something, try to get rid of the remaining stock. But, uh, you do have some good ones on here. Like I have absolution. Uh, it's six ninety nine. Um, I'm not going to go through all these guys, but avenging forces on here for 10 bucks, uh, which I believe is like a, might be like a code red release or something or scorpion. Uh, it usually says somewhere, maybe not. I know 88 films put this out as well, but, uh, you know, being different, which is a weird cover, uh, but it's five bucks, four ninety nine. dollars Yeah. You know? uh, here's a double feature for five bucks. I don't know anything about the movies, but, uh, you know, $5 titles from Kino. I mean, you can't go too wrong. Blown away is one I need to pick up, uh, 10 bucks. Boys, I, I've picked up four ninety nine with Winona Ryder and some other people. Uh, it's kind of skimming through pretty quick. Uh, Certain Fury for eight forty nine. China Moon with Ed Harris for uh, ten bucks. Consenting the Dolls is one I've picked up five forty nine. Uh, what else? Uh, I picked this one up. The Bridge and in Indian Summer for five bucks. Delirious with John Candy for ten. Again, I'm just going through these pretty quick, just to give you guys an idea. Uh, you can get the Film Noir uh, DVD set for 23 bucks if you guys still do DVDs. Looks like a lot of them are down to just doing the DVDs. Uh, freeway for 10 bucks. This isn't the Freeway with a Kiefer or anything, but uh, I do have this one. I <clears> know <throat> uh, I'm, I'm skipping over a lot of shit. Here's a Grizzly DVD for 12 bucks. Like I said, for those that still do uh, DVDs. Uh, Hidden Agenda is one I picked up for five bucks. Great cast in that one. Uh, I believe this is like a Code Red release or something here in the Aftermath for five bucks for the DVD. Again, going through these pretty quick. I don't want to be here all day. Uh, this is a, a great cast in this one. I need to pick up at some point. The Last of the Finest for six forty nine. Making Contact for ten bucks. I, I never buy any Kino releases right when they release. I wait for a, a sell. I mean, uh, Miracles for five bucks sounded pretty interesting. Uh, Money for Nothing. I did pick this one up for five bucks for the Blu ray. I mean, great, great price on that with uh, John Cusack, Michael Madsen. Again, just skimming through really quick, and then we'll go to the other one. Play It to the Bone with Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas. Good movie. Five bucks. Uh, Pit Stop for uh, seven ninety nine. Old Roger Corman um, film there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Looks like a lot of the really good stuff is is no longer available. But uh, I haven't checked this out in a while. Uh, Star Crystal for ten bucks. I've picked that one up. Striker. They only got the DVD left. Seven forty nine. I picked up the Blu Ray. I do believe. Uh, what else we got? Two All A Good Night, DVDs, eight bucks. Um, let's even add the Blu ray, or at least in this section. Uh, Truck Turner for uh, six bucks for the DVD. 
Another double feature for five bucks, too much in Miami Rap City. Antonio Banderas double feature. I've not seen either one, but it's Antonio Banderas two movies for five bucks. That's one I'd throw in my cart. Unforgettable I've picked up for five forty nine. Uh, for the Blu-ray. Oh, uh, what else? Um, ZPG. I think I picked that one up. Uh, Ten bucks. Serial population growth. So yeah, they're they seem to be getting rid of some of them, but um, still got quite a few left as well. All right. So the March Madness sell. I mean, you got uh, ten pages of uh, movies on here too, just to give you guys kind of an idea. Uh, the all nighter that looks that looks pretty appetizing, right? Right, <laughs> twelve forty nine. I'm gonna see when it's prices like that. I'm pretty sure they're like Code Red or Scorpion titles as well. Maybe not. Uh, you got Joan Cusack in here, Pam Greer. Usually says somewhere in the description or something like that if it's another studio involved. So I'm not seeing anything right off the bat, but anyways, again, I'm not gonna spend too much time on these titles. Uh, the Annihilators, that's one I was kind of teetering towards, uh, $7.99. You can get the, uh, Audie Murphy collection for, uh, $23.99 for the Blu-ray set. Here's that Baby Blood. But there's a lot of these, like, little collections for $23, which is a great price. Uh, Beware the Blob, that's another one I was, uh, debating on getting, uh, $10. Like I said, this sale is still going on, guys. So uh, this is another one I was kind of teetering on, Bitter Moon, uh, which is 10 bucks for the Blu-ray on that. You got some Karloff stuff, Black Sabbath, two different releases of that. Uh, I believe it's the same film. But uh, different. I don't know. I think they're both actually Kino releases, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Probably different features and things. Uh, you got a Michael Caine, uh, Black Windmill. Uh, uh, Cannibal Apocalypse with John Saxon. That's another one I had in my card at one point, but uh, held off on for whatever reason. I probably should have grabbed it. Eleven ninety nine. You got Chris Elliott and Cabin Boy for ten bucks. So a lot of these little collections here for twenty three ninety nine, which is really good. Uh, ten dollar double feature of Captain's Paradise and Barnacle Bill. Uh, the Chamber, which is one I was thinking about. I've seen it a long time ago. It's it's not a movie that I see myself re-watching a lot, but it is really, really good. Um, definitely recommend that one. Uh, Chuck Norris and Code of Silence for $11.99. John Cleese and Clockwise for $8.99. James Woods Cop for $9.99. Another one I need to grab at some point. Uh, again, I grabbed Color of Night. Uh, you got DC Cab for uh, $11.99. Death Before Dishonor is another one I was kind of thinking about grabbing uh, for $9.99. There's your Deep Rising, again, uh, $9.99 on that one. Uh, Defcon 4, I was uh, thinking about that one as well. Uh, it's $11.99. I believe this is, uh, I thought this was in collaboration with another studio. Could be wrong. All right, let's go back. Uh, there's uh, the Double Times Five and Delivery Boy is still on there. Uh, dogs. Um, I was going to grab, but I have the 88 release. It's 11.99. If it drops under 10, I'd, I'd probably buy it just to have that release as well. I believe that's uh, Code Red or Scorpion on there. It's not going to tell me, is it? I know it's not a straight Kino release, though. Sometimes it'll say, sometimes it won't. It's kind of weird. Uh, if you guys see anything that I'm going through that I, I should definitely grab, then let me know. For And I might go back and grab some more stuff from the sale. Uh, Executioner's Song, 10 bucks. Evil Under the Sun, $11.99. I know sometimes I'm saying like 10 instead of 9.99. I don't know. Uh, your film noir sets for twenty three ninety nine. Like I'm thinking about just grabbing all those. I, I mean that's a great price for three films. I mean, and with a cool little box. Uh, there's the Firebirds for seven ninety nine. 
folks with two F's. No, this is kind of weird. But okay, cool. Uh, Elvis, Frankie and Johnny. I don't know. Uh, Foxfire. Sounds familiar. Uh, nine ninety nine on there. Uh, the Good Son is one that I I have. Great movie. Uh, nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. There's a great alligator. Uh, Grandview USA. I have a uh, great cast on that one. Jamie Lee Curtis, C. Thomas Howell, Patrick Swayze. Uh, it's nine ninety nine. And uh, there's the Hannibal 4K is uh, thirteen ninety nine right now. Blu-ray is ten bucks. Uh, the Hitchhiker, which sounds pretty interesting. Can't go wrong with your hitchhiking movies. It's uh, eight ninety nine for the Blu-ray. Holy Man with Eddie Murphy. I don't remember that being very good, but I may go back and grab it too for five forty nine for the Blu-ray. It's a terrible cover. Terrible cover right there. Highway to Hell, my most recommended Kino title ever. I love that movie so much. Uh, so glad I, I grabbed that a couple years back. Uh, it's ten bucks. Uh, if you don't have it, buy it. You will not regret it. I guarantee you. Uh, I had the jury. That's another one I've been kind of thinking about for uh, nine ninety nine. I was looking at the Ice Man. That sounded pretty interesting. Uh, the Ice Harvest is pretty good with Bill Bob Thornton and uh, John Cusack and a bunch of other people. It seemed to love the John Cusack titles on uh, on Kino site. Just visiting, pretty decent movie. Uh, Seven ninety nine. It's another one I may go back and get. Uh, Sharon Stone and Last Dance for five forty nine. Another one I need to just go ahead and grab. I don't. I don't know a lot about these older movies. So um, the Landlord sounded pretty interesting. Mm, losing it nine ninety nine. There's the uh, Lost Highway and Love Me Deadly. Uh, the Long Riders is one I've been thinking about. It has a really great cast in there as well. <clears throat> Man, talking too much. All right. Uh, the Martian Chronicles, which is a mini series, uh, twelve ninety nine, could be interesting. Could be not. I don't think I've seen a Kino title that's been crap though. Again, they're they're like Warner Archive, where everything they put out's pretty decent films themselves. Uh, Mister Wrong. Uh. Directed by Nick Castle. Uh, 549. There's the Monster Dog. Mo Better Blues is 999. I was thinking about grabbing that one. Um, I didn't see uh, Summer of Sam on here. That's one I definitely would have gotten. Uh, probably my favorite of those films they put out. Uh, the Mask 3D. Uh, not the not the Jim Carrey movie. Sorry. That that'd be cool if they put that out in 3D. Uh, my boyfriend's back. Great movie. Seven ninety nine for the Blu-ray. Definitely grab that if you guys haven't. Uh, Nightmare Beach. Uh, John Saxon's in there as well for uh, nine ninety nine. I have the uh, eighty eight films release. The Night Strangler. Uh, I can't remember if the other ones on. What is it? The Night Killer or something? Uh, I don't know if they're still shipping with the slips either. And I'm going through these pretty damn quick. I said 10 pages were on. Like, it keeps going. <laughs> uh, Parasite 3D is one I thought I grabbed, but I did not. I would definitely go back for that if I place another order. Uh, you got your Outer Limits Season 1 and 2, 40 bucks a piece for the Blu-rays. Or no, sorry, Season 2 is only 30 bucks for the Blu-ray. Uh, one Good Cop with Michael Keaton, $7.99. Omega Syndrome looked pretty cool, $7.99. The Oblong Box uh, for $9.99. You got your Peak Panther uh, stuff going on here. Blu-rays are 10 bucks a piece. Really good deal on those. Uh, Lon Chaney's Fan Phantom of the Opera. More Peak Panther there. Uh, Plain God is one that was in my cart, and I don't know why I took it out. It's only $5.99. I should have just got it. Uh, you got a double pack of Michael Dudikoff, uh, Platoon Leader, and Soldier Boys for 10 bucks. Uh, Porky's 2 and Porky's Revenge. I, you know, it almost looked like a Scream Factory double feature title, the way it's set up and everything. But $10, bucks, um, definitely worth grabbing. I should have gotten it. 
the puppet masters with uh was that Donald Sutherland, right? Yeah, Donald Sutherland, seven ninety nine. Another one I need to get. You can get the Rawhead Rex Steelbook for fifteen bucks. Not sure what it is normally on like Amazon or anything, but uh, Real McCoy, Revenge of the Ninja. Uh, I can't remember if I had that one or not. Uh, Return to Macon County, which I need to get if I end up getting that Macon County line from uh, the shop select. So definitely a better cast than this one. Eight forty nine. I may just grab it anyways if I don't get the other one. Here, this is uh, better than the first one. Uh, you got Holly Berry and the Rich Man's Wife for five forty nine. I mean, these titles are like five, six something. I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. And here's a Mel Gibson movie that I know nothing about: The River, uh, Hems and Sissy Spacek and Scott Glenn for uh, nine ninety nine. Mm, SOS Titanic. I don't know. Uh, Savage Weekend for nine ninety nine. Scream and Scream Again for nine ninety nine. Uh, Savage Weekend's one I need to just go ahead and grab as well. Uh, th this I believe is a Code Red release because uh, I I think I have this with a slip or something. Do it used to say like right off the bat. Anyways, uh, AKA Spawn of the Slith Slithus. I I don't know how to say the word. Uh, Slayground, just the name sounds cool. I don't know. Steve Martin in a simple twist of fate. Uh, I've not seen it, but Steve Martin, uh, older movie, 649. <clears throat> Soldier, not the Kurt Russell one, but uh, still sounds pretty cool. Uh, Charles Bronson and Anthony Perkins and someone behind the door. <clears throat> Another one I probably just need to blind buy and grab because uh, the cast. There's the Spedders. Uh, this one sounded pretty cool too. The standalone for $7.99. Again, it looks like it's a Code Red or Scorpion uh, type release because it's showing a clear case. Uh, Straight to Hell with Michael Madsen. Sugar Hill for $9.99. Again, I don't know a lot of these titles, but... Uh, some Woody Allen here. I, I, I'm not really a big, huge Woody Allen fan. So uh, I got Terminal Velocity, which I do have on Blu-ray already. Not the Kino release, but uh, it's, it's uh, $9.99 for that one. Uh, again, I'm sure I'm not mentioning a lot of good movies because I, I just don't know about them. Uh, the Train with uh, Burt Lancaster. It's showing with a slip, but who knows, uh, for $12.99. That was one I was kind of teetering on as well. Toy Soldiers for $7.99. Another one I probably should have grabbed. A Trilogy of Terror, which I do have with uh, Karen Black. I need to grab the second one. Uh, and there's that Trouble Bound. Tristan and Azold, which is a pretty decent movie. For uh, 10 bucks, I'm just going to say 10 No, uh, The Unseen I have with the slip, the original release. It's uh, 12 bucks. I'm just going to round them up now. Up the Creek, I, I got that one. From a previous cell. Uh, there's the Wanted Dead or Alive. Uh, White Zombie with uh, Bella Lugosi. And we're at the end, guys. All right, cool. Um, Zoltan, Hound of Dracula. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. I need to get that. <laughs> AKA Dracula's Dog. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, lots of good titles, guys. So uh, definitely pick some stuff up. Um, an old Elijah Wood, Kevin Costner film called The War. I don't know much about, but uh, sounds interesting. I mean, definitely something for everyone on this cell, for sure. And on the uh, While Supplies Last. If any of that stuff looked interesting to you guys, definitely grab it, because that list is definitely shorter than the last time I looked. So, whew. That was, a, that was a long video. My videos just keep getting longer and longer. I apologize. Next one will be shorter. I promise. We'll just do like a short review and code giveaway or something. I <laughs> kind of break up the long videos uh, before I do the next uh, big update. Um, you got Jeff Bridges and White Squall for $7.99. Bunch of guys with their shirts off. That's... <sighs> Anyways, um... I've never seen White Squall. I heard it's really good, though. 
Uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. You guys are still here. You guys are fucking awesome. Make a make a simple word of the day, uh, word of the video. Just leave a comment that says March Madness. If you stayed for the whole thing, and uh, yeah, let me know about some of these titles on Kino's site because I, a lot of them, probably seventy percent of them, I've never even heard of. Especially your like film noir stuff and your stuff from like the fifties and sixties. I'm not too great with film before like the mid seventies, so uh, definitely let me know. But I'm gonna get out of here as always, guys. Peace, love, happiness to all y'all, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.